A submarine implodes when the pressure outside becomes greater than that of the inside. When it can no longer withstand the intense pressure, it caves in on itself. This occurs when the submarine enters depths of the ocean that were never intended. The intense water pressure and external pressure then cause the metal plates of the submarine to collapse. This creates a vacuum and the metal is drawn in from the hull, crashing through anything inside. The implosion can be so powerful, that outside vessels can feel its impact. Sailors that are unfortunate enough to be in a submarine when it implodes are killed instantly. Immediately after a submarine implosion occurs, the ocean fills the now empty space. A tremendous wave of water is released that can sweep anything near it away. People also report a thunderclap that is loud enough to be heard for miles in all directions. Navigation becomes difficult due to the change in the water's currents from the implosions. If the submarine implosion takes place close to the surface, there is the risk of Chilean tsunami. It is also seen that the implosion generates undersea earthquakes with very strong ground motion. Recovery operations to get the remains of the vessel and crew are difficult and risky. What remains of the submarine is scattered in pieces far from the original location of the implosion. Oceans are also polluting due to the fuel, lubricants, and other materials that are then released in the water. This can harm the marine life in the area and cause them to abandon their natural habitat. After the implosion, the ocean floor around the damaged site resembles a new terrain. There are trenches, ledges, and even obstacles that were not there before the implosion occurred. These obstacles can damage and even sink ships that are believed to be ignorant of the new terrain. Viewing the area becomes extremely difficult since the visibility in the ocean is reduced. The deep ocean is already dark, and the debris from the implosion blocks out the light. The debris from implosions can remain for months and be caught in ocean currents. All the pieces are then redistributed and are not only difficult to track, but to find as well. The cause of the implosion is usually unknown and remained uncertain for a long time. 